Hey Tooligans, welcome back to the channel. Um, hope you're all doing well. I got a day off work today, um, so just thought I'd do a quick video. Um, firstly, I'd like to thank all my subscribers. Um, keep the comments coming, keep the um, subscriptions coming. It's much appreciated. Um, welcome any new subscribers um, and hello to all my existing subscribers. Today I'm just going to do a quick little video um, while I got all the tools together. Um, just over how much these tools cost and how much of a devastating thing it'd be if they all got stolen. So what I'm going to do is just a quick video on how I mark up my tools. Um, not just for working on sites uh, where people might use them or abuse them. Um, where I work, some people have got the same Nipex side cutters, same screwdrivers and things. So obviously, I just mark mine up with red tape. One of the boys uses earthing tape on the handles. Um, and one of the boys might use blue tape, which is all... Just see the little red bit of red tape I put on there, which is all good. With that being said, not everyone on site. Um, well, I, I do want to say on site or anywhere has got the best intentions. So what I also do as well is I've got a UV pen that I purchased off Amazon for about a pound, and I've got my uni light and on this uni light you don't have to buy a uni light but this is um i bought this as a light not for this purpose it has a uv light setting on it so i've marked up my tools with a little bit of data on there that i know they are mine and nobody else can turn around and say, oh no, that's mine, I've got the same name as you or the same date of birth. I do have my telephone number on them as well. I've marked up quite a few places on them. Try not to get my telephone number on there. Do you want everyone ringing me up asking for me to go out on a date with them? There you go. So I've marked up my tools with these. Some people might say, oh, it's a bit of overkill. I don't think so. What I've spent on my tools is, well, let me just work out quickly. My power tools there, probably about four or five hundred pounds worth. Um, for me to replace them new, um, just I wouldn't be able to afford it all in one go. Uh, my bags, the bag I think retails about 200 and 240 quid. Pouch is about 60, all your Nipex stuff. I know people say you don't need it. No, it's what I want to use and it's what I can afford. Um, and I can only afford it one time around. Um, and that's why I'm hoping they last me a lifetime or the duration of my working career. Treat my tools well, clean them up um, once a week. Um, don't misuse them, or sorry, misuse them. Um, but anyway, back to... Um, the, the tagging or the UV pen. I'll just zoom in on some of these, see if I can get anything. Might not, there you go, there's only a little bit on there. I think it's zooming in for the torch. But if I just go across them, you get the gist of what I'm uh, getting at. So I've just marked up the tools on the handles. And it just stops any aggro, you know, or they're mine. Wait there, let me just get my UV light out and show you. Should have, yeah, there you go, there's bits on there. Bits on there, it just would probably stop my argument fairly quickly. Should have something on there. Yep, there you go. Yep, and there you go again. Like I said, it's not difficult to do. You could get your kids to do it for you. You could ask your wife to do it for you, I suppose. 
whether or not they'd be willing to is a different matter. But I just thought I'd do that little quick video, just um, just what I do to market the tools and to just to keep them safe because I've seen, well, in fact, I was watching on YouTube, there was a gentleman that went into um, a shop where you sell stuff when you're a bit desperate for cash. I wouldn't use any names. And all you've got to do is take in a form of ID and go and sell that item. Um, you get the cash for it. And then they sell that item on. Um, whether or not it stays in store for a period of time, I'm not too sure. That's something I would have to look into. But you, you're taking somebody's livelihood away from you. You're taking the food off the table for stealing tools and stealing things like that. It's just disgusting. Um, I think there should be better regulations on selling um tools to these stores and in fact selling anything selling tvs you know a holding period or whether or not people can get online to view what uh, these shops have got um you know if if i had my tools stolen i'd rather than pay you know or hold the tools and um, so people could go and check if they are missing stuff and say right this is all mine that's the, the I know it'd be very difficult to prove it, um, that everything was actually yours, unless you've got it all marked up like this, but um, surely keeping video logs, keeping pictures of the, the stuff you've got and the stuff you've purchased. Um, I do take photos of any receipts and screenshot any things off eBay, um, or just, just keep as much data of um, transactions that I can, just to prove if, Something did go missing or was stolen out of the car, out of the van, off site, out of the house. Because obviously I brought them home today to mark them all up. You know, it's just that peace of mind. Because um, like I said, probably speaking a couple of hundred pounds worth of kit there. Um, all in all, near enough for a thousand pound. I wouldn't like to tally it all up. Um, Probably something I might do on the weekend, just add up all of the stuff I've got and see what it comes to. Um, just for a reference myself, so I know for insurance purposes what I'd be comfortable in showing them as. Um, give me your thoughts on it, guys. Uh, leave comments, um, any of your ideas, any, any th way you mark your stuff up, whether or not you use a UV pen or not. Um, you, you could mark them a lot more, show show people an indication that um, you are marking your tools. I suppose you can put stickers on them, label them, to say, you know, these tools are labelled with UV pens. Um, and let me know if there's any other product on the market that helps you um, to mark up tools. Um, I don't know if there's any online places that you can put on a database, um, your part number, um, serial numbers, where they send tags out and you fit a tag to this. Um, I don't know, it could be something for the future to look into. Um, but I say guys, thanks again for watching the video. Um, I'll be doing a couple of more videos throughout the next couple of weeks. Let me know if there's anything you want to have a look around, look, look into, um, and I'll see if what well, I can get my hands on as well. Do a couple of reviews on bits and bobs. Okay, guys, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, thanks for liking, and thanks for comments. Have a good day, take care, thanks very much.